Madeira, Magda. You're with the Pac Mara? Sorry, try not to drink the water. Nakari, you're gonna be rendezvousing with the Narn resistance in Sector 40. Thanks. Glendora. Commander's personal Narn. log, December 7th, 2260. We're shipping our telepaths as fast as we can to the races that have signed on against the Shadows. Upon arrival, they'll be assigned to warships already on patrol. Because the Shadow vessels are vulnerable to telepathic interference, we hope this will even up the odds a little. Sheridan's coordinating the defense with what's left of the League of Non-Aligned Worlds. He hardly ever leaves the war room anymore. He tries not to show it, but you can see the fatigue in his eyes. Franklin's still on walkabout. No one's seen him in over a week. We hope he's all right and works this through soon. We're gonna need him back in Medlab. Though I don't share their belief, I'm glad to have Brother Theo and the rest of his monks on board. Ever since we broke away from Earth, they've been a wonderful, stabilizing force. Working with people to keep them calm. How he can be so annoying one moment and so comforting the next is beyond me. A description which also applies to someone else I know. I really don't see why this is such a difficult request, Commander. For every telepath you send to one of the other races, I send along one of my Norns as bodyguard. If their tactical value is as great as we suspect, shouldn't they be protected? Their safety's already been guaranteed. I'm sure that will be a great comfort to their grief-stricken families when a shadow agent carves them up into spare body parts. With my people around, this will not happen. My Norns are willing to go into great danger, risk sacrificing themselves for you, knowing that in turn, we serve ourselves. If the symmetry were any more perfect, I should think one of us would break into tears. I have decided that Jacquard must be dealt with. I suppose so, eventually. No, not eventually, as quickly as possible. Wonder, has it occurred to you that half the other races are at war? We have to figure out what to do about them, about us, and you're worried about Jakar? We have a lot bigger concerns here. Big concerns grow from small concerns. You plant them, water them with tears, fertilize them with unconcern. If you ignore them, they grow. I have ignored this problem long enough. Sheridan has given him sanctuary. There is nothing you can do against them as long as he's here. Yes, as long as he is here. So, this by you is well done. Good. So I have found a way to get him away from here and back to Nan. And once there, he can be arrested, detained, and executed. And you, Beer, are going to help me. <laughs> <laughs> 